Give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem oh. Yahweh Shah. Hashem Yahweh Shah. to the elders, the elders of GMS, peace and blessings to the Akim, the Zahia labor and truth and sincerity. I say Shalom. Coming at you once again with another lesson. I got the brother uh, Samadji and I got the brother Waati with me. Uh, with this lesson here, this lesson here is going to be based on the nation, the other nations will learn to fear the nation of Israel again in the, in the area. So you can start with that scripture. Right? Whichever one, whichever one you go. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah, whichever one you want to start with. Oh, you want all right. All right, I'll start off with Jeremiah 33 and 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Right, these are the things that the Lord is actually going to do on the planet Earth in these upcoming days, you know. I'll read it again out. All right, this is Jeremiah 33 and 6. Behold, I will bring in health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Right, so that's what we wait on, uh, uh, the abundance of peace and truth. Because we don't have peace in, in, in this place called America, man. What we have now is it's chaos, debt, destruction, uh, disease, and all our hell to our people, man. We don't know. We don't know peace and, and abundance, man. Here in America, so this is the things that the Lord is going to rest restore us back with. But go ahead. Seven. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity captivity of Israel to return, and will heal them as at the first. Yeah, He's going to rebuild us as. He's gonna rebuild us as in the first. And he reminded us of that in I believe uh Amos the ninth chapter. Around the around the uh I believe the tenth, eleven and twelfth verse. Uh, he's gonna restore well get it out. Uh, one of y'all get it. Amos nine. Start around uh start around nine. Amos nine start around what? Around like nine. Cause we we're not feared in the planet Earth right now, man. We we look down as a bunch of peasants, the uh, the tail, you know, a bunch of degenerates. We will look down as scum of the Earth, man. And we really really we're the princes of the planet Earth, man. You know, we look down upon. We are the, the first hired. We're the last hired, first fired. We the uh the ones that's getting slaughtered in these streets by the police, by uh, backwards as Edomites. You know, we were looked down upon as everything, man. We just supposed to be a bunch of servants to these other nations, man. You know, but the nations of the planet Earth, you know, are y'all getting ready to fear us, man, on all levels? But go ahead, get it up, and Amos. Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command and I will still the house of Israel among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right. Keep going, huh? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say that you shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right, go ahead. Just the point right here. And that people are up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Right, and this is what you're seeing, a bunch of young men on the planet Earth uh, being rebuilt, man, as in the uh, as in the days of old, or the tabernacle of David, man. This is the same thing that brother holds in, holding in Jeremiah, you know. And the nation's gonna fear that. They're fearing that now, man. Go ahead. And close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up the gloom, and I will build it as in the days of old. Right. And it's closing up the breaches between the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. That's why you're seeing uh, brothers from the Latin tribes. And brothers from the house of uh, the, uh, the house of Judah coming together on these streets, man, prophesying of uh, Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, man. That's what you're seeing right now, as in the days of old, man. But go back to Jeremiah. Right, Jeremiah 
know, I had 33 and 8. Yeah. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity. Remember how they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities. Whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. What? Right, and, and it shall be to me a name of praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth. Right. We should. Good. Which uh, we shall hear all that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Right. So the nations gonna fear and all of how the Most High build us up, and how the Most High is gonna uh, make us plentiful in the, in the planet Earth. These nations are gonna fear that, man. Cause we're gonna rule with these laws, statutes, and commandments. We're gonna rule with the rod of iron, man. And we're gonna do them double unto what they've done to us. That's what's getting ready to happen on the planet Earth. You know? Y'all probably have anything to say? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, like you said, the nations, you know, they don't actually don't believe that we're going to be in a rulership. And like you said, they just sit back and point and just think we're supposed to entertain. We ain't going to never get nowhere. We're just going to stay killing each other. But over the table's about to turn. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, too, man, they got this thing called, um, I believe, the Stockholm Syndrome, where it's like, you're free. But you don't really believe you're free, and that's what a lot of the um, so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos want, man. You're out here, and you you're free, but you're you're still in servitude to Esau. But you're in your mental capacity, you're feeling like Esau is still in control of you. You're happy in that servitude. Your whole state of being is wanting to be more complacent and more happy in that servitude. Right. All right, go ahead um, and get the next scripture. About the kings? Yeah, the kings. All right, this is First Kings eight to forty three, and it says, "Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calleth thee for." That all people of the earth may know thy name, fear thee, as do thy people Israel. Right. Read that part again, huh? Kind of says, Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling, do according to all that the stranger call it to be born, that all people of the earth may know thy name, to fear, thy, to fear thee, as do thy people Israel. Right. What? And that they may know that this house. Which I have built all by thy name. Right. And, and they're going to learn to fear us and the Most High, man, and his son Yahushua. That's for, that's for getting ready to come to the planet Earth, man. Fear, you know. We're going to rule in righteousness. We ain't going to do like the so called white man and give you GMOs, give you uh, barium octane from chemtrails, and destroy you uh, mentally, man. We're going to give you the law, of the commandments. You know, but you're going to rule. We're going to rule righteousness, man. We're going to uh, pretty much have our way with your devils, too, at the same time. But we're going to do it in righteousness, though, man. Um, <clears throat> get that one in, uh, I, yeah, Joshua. Joshua 2 and 9. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord Yahweh has given you the land and that your terror is fallen upon us. And Wait, that all the inhabitants you started at six? You came. started at six up? You said up? You started at six, my bad. You started at six? Yeah. It said Joshua 2 and 6, but she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stalks of flags. Wait, you talking about the... Uh, Let's, let's start at one, huh? Start at one. one. Yeah. It's Joshua 2, the one from the top. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out from Shittim, like him, two men to spy secretly, saying, Go through the 
land, even Jericho. And they went and came into a harmless house named Rahab and lies there. Right, right. And, and it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came in and hither tonight of the children of Israel to the Right, right. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house, for they be come to search out all the country. Right. Keep going up. And the women took the two men and hid them and said, Thus they came in unto me, but I wish not wish they were. Right. And it came fast about the time of the eight. It was dark that the men went out, but the men went I what night. Pursue after them quickly, for he shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stars of black, which she had laid in order of the roof. Right. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the forest, and as soon as they were pursued after them were going out, they shut the gate. And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the so let's see what she gonna let's see what she gonna say. This is what we, this is what we this is what we waiting for all nations to say, man. We waiting for all nations of the planet Earth to pretty much have these thoughts in their mind, man. Well we well we are uphold and glorified again, man. Go ahead up. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord had given you the land and that your terror is falling upon us. Right, go ahead. And that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. Good. We have heard how the Lord Yahweh dried up the water of the Red Sea when he came out of Egypt, and what he did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side, Jordan, Sahan and Og, who he utterly destroyed. Right. So basically, man, this whole nation, man, the nation of Israel, we're gonna be feared, man. We're gonna be uh we're gonna be looked looked up as as a powerful people, man, all because of your how about your shot, man. We're not gonna be looked down as a, a bunch of niggas, and spicks, a bunch of uh, uh, tomahawks and sh whatever other names they call us, man. We're gonna be uphold and feared, man. People, people are not gonna dare uh, speak down upon us, man, or dare to even put their hands on us in those days, man. You know, and that would uh, Rahab the harlot, man. That's what she said. That was she uh. She perceived to the things that went, the events that went on back then. And she even knew, man. The most high is uh what is I'm gonna speak on something, I'm gonna find this scripture real fast to add to us, to add to, to the lesson, man. Real fast. Yeah, this I got this preset right here. This is Judith. This is Judith 5 and uh, 17. It says, And when and will they, and once they sin not before their power, they prosper. Because of the power, because of Yahweh that hated iniquity was with them. It says, But when they depart from his ways, when they depart from the way which he had appointed them, they were uh, destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captive into a land that was not theirs, and the temple of their power was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by their enemies. But when we listen to the Most High and do what He say to do, the Most High be with us, man. And the Most High gonna be with us when we uh pretty much be given the, the whole planet Earth, man. And gonna be looked down and feared upon, man. All because of your house. It's not us. It's the Most High, man. 
somebody get a uh, Zechariah 14 and start at 16 and just read down. And you can end it with uh, uh, somebody. You get Jeremiah 51 and 20. 51 and 20? Yeah. Zechariah 14 and 16. Yeah. Alright, this is Zechariah 14 and 16. It says, And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and to keep the peace of the tabernacle. Uh, right, keep, keep going. And it shall be that whoso will not come up from all the families of the earth to Jerusalem to worship the king or Yahweh of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. Right, man. Wait, wait, what number you at? I'm at 17, man. You're at 17? Go down one more. And if this is Zechariah 14. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, they have no rain. This shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite the Egypt that come not up to the tabernacle. Right, so if that happens in that day, man, when the nations don't want to come up and worship or, uh, or pretty much obey the laws, and commandments, man, they're going to be destroyed, man. And that, not only that, that would be an example for the rest of the nations. They're going to fear that, man. They don't want that. They ain't gonna want that to happen, man. That's gonna bring fear and dread upon the nations, man. When they see that. You know, you know how they used to use us as an example? You used to take a strong buck and, and just you know, tear him apart, break him apart in front of his family and friends on the slave plantation? That's what might happen to some of you nations, man. You're gonna be, some of you gonna be used as an example in that day, man. Coming up playing against the uh, Yashua Allah, man. Cause you gonna you know they're gonna have some type of some type of uh, knucklehead man gonna get broken off man. Yeah. Hey, go ahead, uh, Samadhi. All right, Jeremiah fifty-one and twenty. Yeah, I'm my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Where are you saying? He said, Thou my battle axe, talking about Israel, man. Yahshua Allah. The both sides said, We're his battle axe and his weapons of war. And he said, With us, will he break in pieces to other nations, man? Go ahead. And with thee, will I destroy kingdoms? Well, with thee, will I destroy kingdoms? Basically, kingdoms and nations, man. The most I gonna use Israel to do that. Go ahead. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Keep going up. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Right, so we're going to be breaking women asses off too, man. Young women and men, whatever, man. Everybody going to get that foot up, put up their ass, man, in that day, man. They're going to learn to fear us, man. And, you, and the way you do that is by cracking heads, man, cracking skulls, man. You know? Right. Giving them that, giving them that, that, uh, that Fred Flintstone, man. Or that, that Bam Bam. <laughs> <laughs> giving that Bam Bam to them, man. They gonna learn to fear the, fear the Yahweh Yah Shem was shy and Yahshua Allah, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I got a little more. Go down to like, uh, 23. I will ask them to break pieces with thee, the shepherd, and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husband and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Yeah, so with thee I'm gonna break in, break captains and rulers, man. Those those are uh people that's high esteem in this society, man. That's right. gonna they're gonna find themselves in a in a in a bad position. Especially you international bankers, man. You're gonna be the first you goddamn devils out there watching, wherever you may be, you devils are gonna go in hardcore slavery first. You're gonna learn to feel the nation right. of Israel first, man. We're gonna grab you devils up, man. Okay? We're gonna grab you devils up, man. 
We gonna bring it to your your red rusty ass, man. Your dried up ass, man. Okay. For real, man. You gonna learn. You nations gonna learn to fear us, man. We ain't gonna be a joke and a laughing stock no more, man. And things are getting serious now. Somebody, we gonna end it with uh, Wisdom of Solomon five and one. We gonna end it with that, man. Yeah, yeah. Anything to say, man? Y'all, you too. Solomon right here. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 5 and 1, man. It says, uh, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the fates of such as has afflicted him, and have made no count of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's right. it. Somebody get uh, Psalms 89 and 7 out. And what they're seeing right now is the nation of Israel building up and coming back together, man. The most high is the building that we went over earlier, as in the days of old, man. That's putting fear on these devils. That's making these, punching these videos out on their ass and, and screaming these devils, uh, their destruction, that's bringing fear upon them. And not only does they see that happening, but the things that we are saying are being played out on the planet Earth through the news, through, uh, through, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, different events for us the weather and stuff, man. And that's making them, that's putting fear in these devils, man. Like Come you on, said, that's, 2018 that's, gonna be a motherfucker, man. Huh? Come on, that, natural Yeah, natural, uh, catastrophes, right? That's it. You know, 2017 was a, was a, was a, was a motherfucker to y'all with, uh, different, uh, weather events and shit, man. Nat uh, natural disasters and shit. So imagine 2018, man. Most likely gonna stick it to you, devils, man. You had that up? I got y'all? this on eighty-nine and seven. Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. Right, man. And that's what you're seeing. And he's bringing fear upon upon these heathen, man. We making reference of the Most High, yeah, how about you know, shot, man? Which they, which, which they call the terrible demon-like power. I, I, I was saying it right, Ashasha, terrible demon-like power. That's what they call the Most High, man. He was like a terrible, and he's gonna be that. And we gonna be a terror on the, on the planet Earth too, man. When the Most High give us the power, not now, but when the Most High give us the power, you gonna see some things, man. The Lord said we gonna meditate terrors unto you nations, man, when we have you in captivity. Okay. Um. Any yeah? Anything else? I like? any other scriptures? Uh, I just wanted to say, um, and even in our own, um, some as far as our, our countenance, man, how we look, our facial expressions, man, most high is preparing our people through our words as well as our countenance, man. It's our how we stand, how we look, how we prophesy. Let's put fear in people when they walk past. That's right, bro. That's right, man. And that's, the, and that's the vibration the Most High is putting out there on the planet Earth, man. That you, you out, you basically, you know, you outnumbered spiritually, man. You, you seeing real men on these, on these highways and byways, man. Real spiritual men, and that's, that's, that's a fear in itself, man. To see blacks and Latinos come together, man, in unison, man. 
has been a cohesive unit out there on the block spiritually, man. Not carnally, but spiritually. That's that's fear in itself, man. We ain't we're not here to beat your ass and beat you down and beat you up, man. Well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with these though. We're gonna do it with these though, and that's and that's bringing fear in you, devils, man. You can't handle that, man. And ultimately, the most high is gonna really uh, do this thing and get busy on you, man. And then to all you nations, not, not just Esau. Esau is the main culprit. But all you nations are uh, pretty much uh, guilty of that, man. You know. So with that, man, you know, I hope that was that is fine to you, brothers out there, or whoever you needed to get to. Um, as always, man, we give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Time. Uh, double answer, our elders, the elders of GMS, peace and blessings to the Akim without their labor and truth and sincerity, man. Shalom, stay up, man. Shalom. Shalom.